What is up my fellow net dwellers, Couch Command here, and today we're doing another modding in 5 minutes or less. This time we're looking at Darkest Dungeon obtained via Steam. Make sure you hit that like button if this video helps you out. Comment down below on some suggestions for some different Halloween mods I can try out. And subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. Alright, so this is going to be the vanilla version of the game. We're going to be using two mods. One of them is going to replace the blacksmith, which you can find right here. So we'll switch out this character model. And the other one should be replacing this character model. One mod will, or one mod's gonna be attained via the Steam Workshop. The other mod's going to be attained via Nexus mod with a manual download. All right, now let's get to modding. So first off, as far as Steam goes, you're going to come into community and go to workshop here. Be familiar with the workshop. The workshop is probably the greatest resource for getting mods from, well, for Steam games and for non-Steam games in all, honestly. Uh, there's another video I'm going to link it at the end covering how to snag a workshop mod for a non-Steam game. So anyways, go ahead and search whatever game you're wanting here. For this one, we're doing Darkest Dungeon, right? So there's that. And then I'm specifically looking for the Blacksmith mod, but you'll have your options here as far as searching for popularity, most subscribed, most recent. So blacksmith. Once you find the mod you want, all you gotta do is click subscribe here. You'll notice I've already subscribed. When you click subscribe, you're gonna automatically trigger the download for it. Now, let's go ahead and go over and get our Nexus mod. This is also pretty simple how we're gonna go about it. We're going to be going view all games. We're gonna search for darkest. There's Darkest Dungeon. We're gonna search for the Crusader. And here is a female Crusader mod. Let's go ahead and go into files. We're going to be snagging the Bill of Swords Crusader standalone. Go ahead and slow download. While this finishes downloading, we can go ahead and open up our mod folder location. So we're going to go back to Steam. We're going to go to Library. We're going to find our Darkest Dungeon game. Which is right here. Right click it. Go to Manage. Browse to Local Files. And that's just going to pop this right open for us. And you'll notice this folder Mods here, which is where we're going to be throwing our mod that we want. Let's go ahead and check back up on that mod and see where we're at. Uh, fully downloaded. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our downloads. Open this guy. Go ahead and copy this Crusader standalone. Go ahead and paste it here. Okay, and just like that, that mod should be good as well. Let's go ahead and kick back off in Darkest Dungeon and make sure that all of our mods have successfully installed. The first thing is we have to enable mods for our given save, which is as easy as going campaign and go ahead and click on this hammer over to the side to enable view mods. And we're gonna go ahead and enable the two mods we've got. You can see the Cell Sword mod and the Blacksmith mod both installed. Let's go ahead and click on this guy here, and we should have a character texture replacer as well as a blacksmith texture replacer. In time, you will know so, blacksmith first. My failings. Blacksmith replacer worked. We now have a cute girl instead of an old man. And crusader texture does not appear to work. Uh, maybe we can embark and use Reynold and see if it'll replace there. I really don't care. I'll just be backing out anyways. But definitely didn't replace this texture. So the Templar one adds a brand new class to the game. I needed to do the other one. So let's go ahead and snag that one instead. We will have to enable that mod, but if this works, we should have replaced our... Templar with a different character. Well, our Crusader with a Templar. So, campaign. 
go ahead and view enable mods. We're going to go ahead and enable the replacer. And then go ahead and run it. A devil and there we go. She has been replaced. Only the man or he has been replaced. Voila. So that is how you mod Darkest Dungeon. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions for other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at Couch Command, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord. Link's at the top of my channel page or over on my description. Make sure you stab that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below on some Halloween mods. I really could use the help. And subscribe to the channel for more modding content. This was Couch Command. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.